Try if you want. Don't know if anyone is connected, but if you are, can you shoot me a message? That'd be fantastic. All right, I'm just going to make myself comfortable here, and we're going to get started with this with tonight's event. Sorry for the shock of my boobs here. All right, um, welcome to my humble above. <laughs> and tonight, I would like to, uh, this is the first time that uh, we're doing this and uh hi steph hi, hi wayne hi love <laughs> thanks honey okay so it's working yay all right so tonight what i wanted to do for um for this uh, quarter is to do the meditation that i did this morning and do a live streaming um just to share with you the the, the meditation and and the, um, the energies that I received this morning. So I'm going to start the drumming and hopefully you can hear it. I will hold my t-shirt so that I don't flash anyone anymore. All right, so I'm just looking for my drumming track here. I'll be a second. All right, so hopefully, maybe you can tell me if you can hear the drum when it starts. And it should start in a second. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys can hear the drum. Fantastic. Okay, so I will get started. All right, so we're going to connect to the creator of all that is. I'm going to get you to center in your heart. So we're going to take a deep breath, big breath in at the heart, big in, big out. And another big in, and another big out. I'm going to reach out and connect to all of you. Okay. All right, so we're going to start by connecting to the creator of all that is. So we're going to center in your heart, and then we're going to start sending our energy down to the earth to be grounded into the earth. So we're going to start doing that now. Big breath at the heart. And, and exhale looking down a little bit and just think or imagine that your energy is grounding into the earth it's a third and it's starting to ground so we're going to take a nice slow deep breath at third I can't and now it's at seconds right here to take a nice slow deep breath at second and just focus on grounding your energy down in the earth again we're at the first chakra and we're going to take another another nice deep breath at, th at first right here Imagine or see or feel that the energy is going to your, towards your hips, down your legs, down the bottom of your feet, deep, 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 deep inside the earth. And it's going to keep on going deeper and deeper and deeper until it reaches the Taylor current, the current that animates the earth. We're going to let it sit there for a little bit. And whenever it's ready, it will come back up going to come back up our legs and through all the chakras and shoot to the through the top of our heads so it's starting to come back up and it's almost at the feet entering the sole of our feet it's 
going up the leg. It's, it's at first, and it's going to go a little bit faster. It's at second, third, the heart, the throat, third eye, the top of your head. And now it's going to start ascending towards the creator of all that is. So if you look towards one o'clock, so about here, that's where the first void is. So it's just an empty space where there's nothing but possibility. So that's the first void. And then it keeps going up, keep, keep looking up. We're going to pass through the fourth plane of existence. It's at about 12 o'clock. And then we keep on look, looking up and going up past the second void. And past the fifth plane of existence, it's about 11 o'clock. If you keep on looking higher up, now we pass, we're just moving past the law. It's another field. And then we're passing through the compassion field. And if you keep looking towards about 11, 10 o'clock now, you'll see a little bright window. So you can see it, sense it, sense it. Taking a deep breath and just head towards that light. And just imagine, see, feel, or sense that it's starting to stream down through the top of your head. And it's just going to fill our entire body with this beautiful divine light. And it's just to get us ready to go meet the original mother. Okay, so we're going to start feeling it coming down through the top of our head. And it's moving fairly quickly because its only purpose is just to connect us to a higher state. So it's already moving. It's at the third eye. So the height of the cheekbone. It's going up throat. The bottom of the jaw, the top of the throat. We're going to take a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Throat, top of the shoulder, it's at the heart, bottom of the heart, and it's going to stay there for now. Okay. All right. So now we're going to make the command, and you can ask silently for yourself, creator of all that is, it is commanded that we connect to the original mother in the highest and best way. Thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. Okay, so before we start, I'll just give you a little heads up on, on who the original mother is. Um, I've been receiving some guidance regularly, and for each change of the moon, for each full phases of the moon, there is a, a female deity that I, I'm, I'm starting to believe is kind of the original, the, um, the, the mother archetype in, in, in its many forms. Um, so for the full moon, it's the goddess Brigitte. For the last quarter, it is it is Mother Mary from the Catholic faith. Um, for the new moon, it's Kuan Yin. And for the first quarter, which we just enter now, it's the original mother. Um, and what I call the, the original mother is... It's a figure that that appeared to me a little while back, and to Wayne as well, when he went to uh, one of his uh, his shamanic retreats. Um, she looks like um almost like a cave like a cave woman, and she lived she she is we can find her in a, what looks like a, a prehistoric cave with with some paintings on the wall with ochre paintings on the wall, um, and she is uh, what Wayne. Um, describe as the original mother. So if, if we were to trace back our mother as far, as far as we could possibly go, we would all come from one mother, and that's this. That's this original mother. And she, to me, she looks like a shamanic, um, like a shamanic priestess almost, like a, a sage woman. And um, so this is who we're connecting with today. Um, the the energy of the next week is going to be centered around the earth and grounding our energy to the earth, but also reconnecting and, and developing that relationship with the earth. So she is there to help us on uh, on its on, on on our journey to reconnect to the earth, and um, so tonight we'll connect with her and we'll see uh, what she has for us uh, to help us on our on our journey. So I'll turn the drum back up. All right, so we're going to take a nice deep breath. A 
going to connect to that light again. So if it helps, you can look up uh, with your eyes closed. You can look towards the upper left corner, towards that window of light, and just imagine, sense, or feel that this light is connecting to the top of your head again and filling you. And it's really quick. And it's at the heart already. So something that I found that's really helpful is to focus on your heart, not your heart chakra, but your actual physical heart, is and bringing your your attention to your heart. It's helpful to put your hand on it too, um, and just feel the beat of your heart, and that's really going to connect you physically with your heart, and that's going to help you clear any blockages that you may have. Your heart does it on its own. It's quite magical how it works actually. It's really kind of a flawless way of doing it. Um, it's automatically doing it. So we're going to repeat our attention to connect. So creator of all that is, it is commanded that we connect with the original mother from the fourth plane of existence in the highest and best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. All right. So we're going to start journeying towards the fourth plane of existence. So I'm just going to let you float down slightly from where we were, from that bright window. I'm going to start speaking slower because I'm, I'm, I'm connected and it's getting hard to speak. So we're flowing down through the compassion field, through the laws, through the fifth plane of existence, through the void. And we're slowly entering the fourth plane of existence. And you can see, sense, or feel that you're floating down in what looks like a big field of grass, like long, tall, wavy grass. And you're landing softly on your feet. And you're just starting to walk. And we're walking through that field. We're crossing a bridge. We can see someone on the left corner of our eye. It's a woman that's by the river, but we're just going to ignore her for today and just keep walking. We're passing a campfire with someone sitting there too, and we just, you can glance if you want, but we'll keep walking. It's okay if you don't see anything, if you don't feel anything, it's okay if you see something else too, just go with the flow. And then we're going to walk towards the entrance of a clearing. It looks like a, a big forest with an entrance. And you're going to walk inside that clearing towards your sacred grove. It's, it's your own sacred place where you can go back as, as often as you want. That's your safe, sacred place. And from there, We're just going to stay there for a little bit. And I, we're just going to ask. So you're going to ask for yourself. And it's going to take us on a different journey. So ask for yourself. Please allow me to meet the original mother. Now. Thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. So we're going to take a deep breath. Big in, big out. And you're going to start seeing a path. It's a path that's leading you at the other end of the grove. Just keep walking. You can follow your feet. Just looking at the ground or looking up if you're comfortable and if you're having a clearer vision of what's going on. If not, just follow your feet. Or just follow my voice if you can't see anything. Big breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. It's okay to see something. It's okay to see nothing. Just pay attention to what you're feeling inside your body as well. With what you hear, sense, taste, smell. And 
keep following the path. And we're going up a hill. And the path is sinuous. So it's going around the hill. Keep following the path, keep following your feet. And we're just winding away up that hill. And at the top of the hill, you can see in the corner, you can see that it's a light coming from what looks like it could be a cave. So that's what we're going for. We're just heading towards that cave. Another big breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep walking on the path. You can look at your feet. We're almost at the cave. Now you can see the light of the fire that's inside that cave. heading towards, towards that cave. And just pause at the entrance. Pause at the entrance and just look around, see if you can see something, if you can sense something. And if not, just ask permission to come, to go in. My lady. Mother, please grant me permission to come inside. When you receive permission, just go on in and just sit yourself by the fire. Through the flames, across from you, sitting across from you, you might be able to see or feel the original mother. She may look different too each and every one of you. And take a big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And we're just gonna ask for ourselves, and I'll leave you alone for a few minutes, that she may please give you what you need the most for the next coming week and for you to be able to connect to the earth in the highest and best way. So I'm going to take a big breath at third at your solar plexus, big in through your nose, out through your mouth. And just pay attention to what you receive. It could be an image, it could be a sound, it could be a taste, a smell. It could be a physical sensation. Just stay with it. And bring your attention to your heart. Just feel the beat of your heart. Allow the energy that you're receiving to clear whatever you need to release and to gift you with whatever that it is you need. Big breath at the heart. And keep your attention on your, on your heart, focusing on the heartbeat. And allow it, this energy to just wash through you. We're going to take a nice deep breath at third. Big out. Now it's okay to see or feel and see something else. Each and every one of you will have your own experience and it's perfectly okay. So just stay with what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're sensing. Let it happen.
take another nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We'll take another deep breath. I'm just going to stay here until I get, I receive some instructions to do otherwise. So just stay where you are and keep receiving what you're receiving. Big breath at third. And again, it's not. It's okay if you can't feel anything. Just you're feeling exactly what you need to. It's also okay if you feel a lot. Just let it happen. Put your hands flat on the ground. If it's getting a bit overwhelming, just to help the energy move. Okay, and we're going to start grounding from the top of our head down. And it's just a little bit of grounding. Moving from the top down, third eye, cheekbones, top of the throat, bottom of the throat. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose, looking down slightly to encourage the energy to move down. Shoulders, heart, lower heart, third, second. We're going to take a nice deep breath at second and we're just releasing. First, hips moving down the legs. And you're just going to imagine that you're gifting. You're gifting this extra energy to the earth. And you will receive a gift back. This original mother that's with us, she is the original sage woman, the first shaman, the first sacred female that worked with the element and worked with people and worked with healing and worked in, in perfect harmony with her people and with the earth. And she's helping us reconnect to all these part of us that we, we already have. She's helping us awaken the genes, that one gene that's buried inside of her DNA. She's our common ancestor and we, we carry within herself, deep within herself, her knowledge, her wisdom, her gifts. They already belong to us. Just have to open your heart and allow it in or allow it out. So the energy of the earth is going to come back and bless us. So it's going to start coming back through your feet, through your knees if you're kneeling down. So we're going to take some nice column breath from, from now on just to help that energy move up. So the column breath is, if you just imagine you're going to take a breath through your first chakra, and as you breathe in, you imagine the breath going up your chakra, so inhale, and out through the top of your head. So that energy is starting to move, it's almost at first. And just let it enter your first chakra. Let it fill you, let it relax you. Nice column breath from first to the top of your head. You can exhale looking up a little bit if it helps. That second. A 
and it's helping us remember remember the connection we had with the, with the earth with with the planet with the animals with the trees with the butterflies and the birds when we were kids when we were little kids we all have that experience of making mud, making mud cakes and playing in puddles and hugging the trees and just feeling like we were part of a magical world and that's because we were and we just forgot so we're going to take a nice big column breath from the first first chakra to the top of your head looking up it's that third and it's just moving and releasing and gifting and plugging holes giving us extra support for the next week. Let's up the heart, and focus on your heart for a little bit. Just feel your heartbeat, feel it, integrating the energy we're receiving from the ear. Just accept it, help it to reach all the corners of your body. Feel all the space and the space in between. Almost at the bottom of the throat, we'll take another nice deep column breath from the first to, to the top of your head. It's at the throat, top of the throat, the palate. It's activating the palate for some people. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. It's at the third eye. And it's working on the connection that we have between the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. There's a channel there that's an ancient channel that used to be active and that's really tiny nowadays because we don't use it. So it's working on reawakening that connection and clearing the channel so we can better connect to heavenly energies and better tune in your intuition. Another big breath through your nose and out through your mouth. And the energy is going to start coming through the top of your head. And it's starting to to work like a torus, so it's an energy, the energy that comes up, comes up through the, the channels and then it shoots out and it goes back under your feet, about two feet under your feet, and then it comes back up again. So it's like a big donut with the energy channel right in the middle where your, where your spine is, where all the chakras are stacked up. And it's a big field, so it's a, a continuous motion that goes like this. With the same motion inside of your heart, just a smaller torus that has the same spherical shape with a hole in the middle. And that's how you're moving the energy that are inside your body that you're receiving from earth and, and heaven. So we're going to take another nice column breath from first to the top of your head. And we're going to take a second just to, to say thank you to the original mother. You, you can call her whatever you want. You call her Gaia. You can call her whatever feels natural to you. I'm just going to thank her for allowing us to step into our cave, step into our domain and thank you mother. Thank you for your blessings, thank you for your teachings, for your kindness, thank you for guiding me guiding us, supporting us on our journey. Thank you for reconnecting us to the energy of the moon and the energy of the earth. Thank you for helping us support each other, support the planet, grow into the magnificent beings that we were meant to be.
And big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And we'll just start making our way back down to the clearing. So down that path. Again, just you can stop and look at the view if you can see something. Just take it in. The sacred grove is your inner sanctum. It's a place where you can come back and work with your guides, um, work with different type of, of deities, different type of energies. It's a completely safe place, and it's accessible to you anytime you want to. Just keep on making it down the path. Now it's accelerating a little bit. Big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Once you're inside the middle of the clearing, we're just gonna thank each of the corners. It doesn't really matter if you don't know which direction, just trust yourself and we'll just say a thank you to each of the cardinal points. And for this tradition, uh, because we're working with shamanic tra tradition, we start with the south. When we work with the goddess Brigitte, we start with the west. Um, but for this tradition, we're starting with the south. So great serpent, guarding up the south, I thank you for your protection. Thank you for your guidance. energies of the south we turn to the rightful places as as we get ready to go back home mother jackalai garden of the west thank you for teaching us patience Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for keeping us safe. May the energies of the West return to their rightful places as we ready yourself to journey back home. Hummingbird, great traveler, guardian of the North, Thank you for showing us the way. May the energies of the north return to the rightful places as we ready yourself to go back home. Great Eagle. Guardian of the East and the Rising Sun. Thank you for giving us a higher perspective. Thank you for being our guide. Thank you for showing us a different aspect of the truth. Great Eagle. We thank you as we ready yourself to journey back home. May the energies of the East return to their rightful places. Mother Earth, thank you very much for allowing us to share your energy, for receiving your teachings, and for this wonderful opportunity to helping ourselves, each other, and the planet. May the energies of the Earth return to their rightful places. Father Sky, Grandmother Moon and all the star nations. Thank you for your directions. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for these transmissions. Thank you for being my constant and faithful guides. May the energies of heaven return to their rightful places. Okay, we're going to start slowly going back to our own. Um, 
normal reality. And the way we're doing that is by going back to the creator of all that is. So we're just going to go back up right now. We're at fourth. So if you look again in that upper left corner and take a nice deep breath, look at that little bright window. And we're just going to set our attention to heading back towards that window. So big breath in, big breath out. And just see, sense, or feel that bright window. And we're just going to start heading towards that window. So up through fourth. Through the void, through fifth, through the laws, through the compassion field, and heading towards the window as so you get closer and closer, and stepping through that window. And just let your body absorb the energy of the Creator. Just imagine that. It showers, it's like walking under a shower that's going to clean and release all the energies that you don't need. It's just clearing everything that's extra, everything that you don't need as you get ready to go back home. The shower is coming through the top of your head and it's clearing a crown, third eye, bridge of the nose, the throat chakra, the shoulders heart. Big breath. Big out. It's finishing to clear the heart. And the third and second. First and the feet. And we're just going to commend. Creator of all that is. It is commended that each and every one of the chakras be cleaned, balanced, and perfectly grounded as we ready yourself to go back to our own reality. Thank you. It is done and it's done and it's done. Big breath. Big out. We're going to start journeying down. It's going to turn around and walk back through that window and slowly float down through the compassion fields, through laws, through fifth, through the void, through fourth, through the void. And we're back in our own reality. Back through the top of the head. And it's going to move quickly. So we're going to ground one more time. Third eye, top of the nose, bottom of the nose, top of the throat, bottom of the throat, shoulders, heart, big breath through the nose, out through the mouth, heart, lower heart, third, second, big breath at second, first the hips going down the legs, through our feet, and we just allow ourselves to fully ground, we could shake a little bit, big breath, All right, how do you feel? Everything okay? You could feel something, you could feel nothing. <laughs> I'll send you a, a list. Um, South, uh, Steph is asking who's the, um, the guardian of the West. Um, South, the first one is South. And that's a, it's like a snake, a serpent. Um, for the second one, West is a panther. It's like a, a jaguar. Um, for North is a hummingbird. And for the last one for East is the eagle. And that's from the, the, the shamanic traditions. Uh, that's how they call the, uh, that's how they, they call each of the, the directions. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne says he's a little bit baked, but great. So good. I guess the energy is working through the internet. That's fantastic. <laughs> Are you feeling stuff good? And if there's anything that you want to, if you want to share anything, 
um, anything that you've seen, anything like did your um, peaceful retired? That's good. Peaceful retired is good. <laughs> it's better than wired and. <laughs> Did you um this did anything did you get anything different uh, from me uh, from from the the guided meditation that you got did you see anything else did you experience anything else that was different when did you get to hang out with your elephant again <laughs> I'm just waiting for an answer. <laughs> oh. oh, good. When you said that his elephant wasn't there, but she was. <laughs> It takes a little bit of time um, to to see something different, but not really at the same time. It's really just um, after a while, you'll just start seeing your seeing, sensing, or feeling something different. Something that's going to be just um, just meant for you. It doesn't take a, a whole lot of time, actually. Um, it just takes. Mostly, it takes clearing your chakras regularly. If you clear your chakras regularly, um, you're you just crud free, and then you can see stuff a little bit better. That's really it. So, as long as you clear your chakra re regularly, it will it will kind of um, it will accelerate. And and this this practice because we're we're going to be doing it weekly, and the meditations that I'm posting on Facebook um, every day. They're really they're short meditations, but they're really helpful to stay in the flow of that energy. So you'll progress fast because you'll stay in the flow, like the flow. Right? So instead of trying to, like I did for months and years, <laughs> trying to make up my own stuff and set my own pace, and sometimes it's um, it takes longer to to make progress because because um, you're going against the current. No, tonight, tonight you're good, stuff. You don't need to clean them tonight because we did that already. Um, but every night, if you can, or every other day, um, and then as it, uh, you've been able to to sleep well since. Or are you starting to to sleep not as good again, or you're still good? Oh, Wayne said that uh, the original mother touched her face and then he kind of merged with her for a little bit. How was that? Did you get more? More stuff than you did when you went to uh, your retreat? <laughs> Sorry for the pauses. <laughs> I'm just waiting for comments. <laughs> well, let's get if you sleep well. Yeah, I know. You, no water after eight o'clock, Steph, and you'll be good. <laughs> it's the same for me. It's awful. <laughs> Or I'm just going to wait for Wayne's answer and I'm going to wrap it up. Ooh, that's neat. Wayne says that he could smell the cave a bit and uh, got a strong impression of earth and animal. That's cool. That's more than what I get. I mean, I get the energy, but I don't get the impression as much. Right? Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, the more you practice, the more you, you start to, your other senses are starting to kick into gear too. Um, and that's something you can practice without meditation. Um, so you can, um, 
um, just really practice focusing on on your senses and you can do like little exercises like that so during the day for example you can really focus on your sense of taste or your sense of smell or and really really focus on it so let's say if you hear something or if you try let's say you're having a coffee um you're gonna really listen when you pour your coffee and if you if you mix in some sugar you're really gonna listen and you're gonna smell and you're just gonna look at it, really really focus on that cup of coffee with everything you get for two minutes, and then repeat that regularly, so that when you when you do meditation or journeying like that, um, your brain remembers that it's kind of a, a, a training, so if you if you do a lot of mindfulness, little moments of my mindfulness during the day, when you're in the middle of your meditation, it's super helpful because that, that memory kicks in, and you, you just have all of those that are coming back up so that's how i'm st uh, i can pick up on things because if i do the dishes let's say i really focus on the dishes like you know that the feel of the bubbles and all of that i really focus on it and try to empty my mind completely and i do that throughout the day with little things uh, with just little tasks um and so when i go and, and meditate in the morning or journey in the morning um it usually just um I can start, I don't see a lot of things, but I, I see, it's like I see things moving on the periphery, or it's like I have a, um, um, a movie soundtrack, a soundtrack that's playing, you know, like if you were to watch a movie with barely any picture, with a really shitty TV, with the picture that goes and flickers, but the sound and the soundtrack is there, that's kind of like that. So I can hear things and I can just see things. So I know what's going on, but not clearly. Um, but after a while, you don't question it anymore because it's, uh, let's say if I ask it to, let's say if I miss some of it and I say, okay, can you show me again? It shows me exactly the same thing. And, um, and a lot of the time it's too far fetched to be coming from me. So, but yeah, practice makes perfect. That's really what it is. Um, and it doesn't have to be long, like a long stretch of time either. Just a few minutes here and there. It's just setting the intention. That's all it is. And over time, it just builds. All right, so I think I'm just going to wrap it up unless there's any questions. Did you want me to post anything? Do you, is there anything that you wanted me to, to post to more on Facebook or if you guys are good? All right, Wayne is all good. Steph, you all good too? Okay, you are very welcome. All right, you guys, thanks for for coming. That's that's my first one, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad that it worked. <laughs> Have a great night. Bye, guys. I'll see you at Radiance next Monday. <laughs>